So let's take a closer look at this Australian manufactured Bushmaster four wheel drive army vehicle. So I'm in a Bushmaster which is made in Bendigo in Victoria, just had the controls explained to me, the um, driver doesn't want to go on video so I'm just going to talk through it. So over here we have got the central tyre inflation system so that changes the pressure of all four tyres. Um, so there's your highway which is around 89 psi down to mud which goes down to 29 um, psi and the emergency is um, presumably be a bit um, below that. The vehicle weighs about 12 tonnes um, unloaded or as it is now at 15 uh, maximum uh, GBM. Now here are the um, differential locks so shot is a bit tricky um, so we've got your centre uh, rear and front um, cross axle differential locks there just as you would in a normal four wheel drive each of them can be operated independently it's um, an automatic transmission those are the gears there so you just press those buttons and select again and of course you'd same as a normal four wheel drive you'd select first or something for coming down a hill um, it is automatic as you can see there um, and what else have we got? Um, no airbags on the steering wheel. I guess it doesn't have a five-star five, five star, um, rating. Other than that, um, looks pretty good. Um, there's run-flat tyres as well, so I guess I could probably take a, a bullet or two. Oh, I've just noticed here there's the maximum speeds for the tyre pressures. So 110 kilometres an hour down to um, 15, and 87 psi is normal highway. 89, 89, 89. It actually says 89 on the thing. But... Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, by the way, guess what? Let's have a look underneath. We have got, look at that, independent suspension and coils. Apparently independent suspension and coils um, can't take a load, but nobody told the Australian Army that. <laughs> All right, so this is the PTO winch. Pretty serious cable going on there. Interesting thing about it is you can take this and then run it all the way through these guides up here. And then it comes out these rollers at the front, so it can winch from the front, or you can take that and you can run it out the back, and you can winch from the back as well. All right, here's the tyres, and um, as always with off-road vehicles, there's singles, front and rear, and that is the CETUS, Central Tyre Inflation System, and uh, that's the sizing down there. And here's the recovery points. Don't know what they're rated to, but at least 15 tonnes. So shackle would go around there and there. And typically they would use a bridle to equalise but not halve the load on the recovery points. And the shackles they use, 6.5 tonnes rated. And there'll be two of them, one either side. And they can also use these larger shackles around there. Australia, thank you! We're grateful to the people and government of Australia for providing these to us. They were a great asset to us in liberating the areas around Kharkiv. Together, we're working towards a victory. Slava Ukraine! Slava!